Hey, this is Sherpshot from Project Forge sending you Assembly, Orbital, and best of all, Sandbox. So right here I have a blank version of Sandbox, which I just got off Halo Wars, limited edition, oh yeah, so jealous, so jealous of this. Um, okay, I spawn on the, so, yeah, this is a completely blank version, so, I must spawn on the bottom floor. Anyway, this is, this is, the, um, the bottom, very bottom floor, which is the crypt. It's exactly the si same size as Foundry. The grip, this is a dedicated grip ball court. And one awesome one, too. So, let's go up to the top. What's also cool is, you can sp say spawn a couple cool weapons. Look, a banshee indoors. Oops. This place is pretty big, too. I could, I can actually fly this thing around. It's kind of hard, though. Okay. Let's go upstairs to the, the little tunnel thingy. Kind of tough. A little hole. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And we're out. Here's, um, sandbox. Nothing on it. This is totally fresh. And let me show you some of the weapons and benefits that this map has. Gosh, they also have transport hornets. See if you don't want little rockets on it. This is just the tra regular transport ones you see on Avalanche, which no one likes because it doesn't have the rockets. Um, I'm going to quickly show you this one. And you'll be surprised how many different shapes they have on this map. Half walls. Quarter walls. Quarter walls. You'll be sur just surprised at what you can get with this. Wall slits. One's with little holes in it. T junctions. Uh, no T. Double wall. Wedges, long wedges, large blocks, double blocks, um, tall blocks. There's so many different tapes. And then they have these two ones, as you can see right here, that you can connect to each other. Two corner. Let's see. Let's see what else we can add to it. Then let's have um, tube ramp right here. A little something. Put this right there. And then just walk inside. There's your little tubing. Until the unknown. Now, let's go. Stone columns. Damaged. Um, blue columns. Red columns large columns tiny blocks etc those are all the big pieces that go into it don't worry they still have man cannons and um, barricades and stuff like that Oop. man cannons sculpting oh yeah this is cool those, are those towers you see on um, ghost town little wooden towers along with the thin bridges um other than that we have the same old color effects ooh new thing the blue real light time lighting effect and the red real time lighting effect you can have blue or red to make some really cool pictures and a kill ball that if you walk in, you die. Man, I should have saw that one coming. Right there. And I can't actually wait. Oh, it actually explodes inside. 
if you come into the middle of it, it, it automatically explodes. And my personal favorite, this little thing right here, it's a golf cart. Along with a little golf ball and the piece de resistance, the the T set. So basically what we do is at least have to touch the green. If it touches the green it automatically goes up. No matter what angle it's at. Just just starts going up there. Yay. I mean and I think that's just about it to show you all the benefits of Sandbox. Usually everything really is just the same, just all the really cool things. Oh, and one more thing. Here is, um, here's a teleporter that's permanent that you can't delete. That gives you way over the map that you can shoot through and it's really big. So look. Just sit down. I know. Just set down some double walls. You got your basic platform. But if you fall between this grade, you you will die. Unfortunately, you will die. And it's one heck of a splat. You can still shoot through it though. That's really cool. And thanks for watching our little thing on Sandbox. We Yeah, this is this club is just like a gravity hammer. Yep, that's basically the end. Thanks for watching.